Hi there, it's good to connect with you again on this platform and I'd like to welcome you to the continuation of my series on how to find a life partner. This is part four. Uh, in this part, I'd just like to speak about a few things. You see, marriage is beyond a status symbol. Uh, so you don't just get married so that it can be on record that you're now married. You know, n no, it's, it's a lot of responsibility and it requires that there be intelligent considerations when you want to get married. Marriage can either be a life enhancer or become a limitation. So you have to choose carefully. Okay, so don't marry a job. Don't marry someone just because he's got a great job. It's good to have a good job, but you can marry a job. Don't marry just because uh, someone looks like the kind of person everybody will admire, you know, so your husband or your wife is not a piece of decoration. Uh, it's not an article just for sampling, you know, so others can see there is much more beyond marriage. It's important to do an assessment of values. What's this person's value system? How does this person reason? What are this person's priorities? Does this person have character? Don't marry because someone is nice. Uh, it's good to be nice, but someone can be nice and not have character. Someone can be nice and can be a thief. Someone can be nice and yet has no sense of um, homeliness, no sense of responsibility, no sense of control, no sense of self-control and all of that. So it's, it's, it's not enough by itself that someone is nice. Don't marry money. Uh, money does not determine how well things go within the home. There are people who have all the money and yet they don't have peace. Peace is one thing you cannot buy with money. Money is good. You need money to sort out so very many issues. But I would rather get married to someone who has got the potential to make money, who has the qualities that... Um, that have eternal value, as it were, than just the fact that somebody has money. You see, you can marry someone who's of good character, you can marry someone who loves you genuinely, you can marry someone who has a sense of responsibility, you can marry someone who's disciplined, and so on, and yet has the potential to make money, and then, together with this person, you grow into the picture that you have, then just jump at an offer simply because someone has money. This is not about just the ladies and the men. I, I mean, these days there are men who get married too because the woman has got money. Money is good, but money is not everything in a marriage. Marry someone whose life is in alignment with your assignment and your purpose. Someone that every day as time passes, you can look and say this person is an addition to your life. Marry someone that 10 years after, when you sit up to do an assessment and ask yourself if you made the right choice, your answer should very likely be, yes, thank you, Jesus, I made the right choice. In the next part, I'll be dealing with some other issues.